Hello, welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I was sitting down one day and I was thinking, I have so many guests over 40 years that when they tell me keys that God has instructed them that absolutely work to reach into the invisible world and get their healing. But these same people that have these same supernatural keys, I hear them talk about other people that have other keys and they're saying, that's not right because God has shown me what is right. And what they don't understand is God works in so many different ways. And why should we limit God? And so I thought over 40 years, if I could write down the top ways that God has shown me through my guests of how to reach into that invisible world and pull in your healing, how that would so benefit so many people. Would you like me to teach you on that? Is there a supernatural dimension, a world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Now, some of you may be wondering why I'm seated. And that's because you don't understand the Jewish way of teaching. When Jesus, and his name uh, was from Miriam, his mother, wasn't Jesus, by the way, it was Yeshua. When Jesus taught, when Yeshua taught, he would be seated. And many rabbis teach this way. So I thought I would teach this way. Is that okay? All right. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. And this is so important for you to, to, to capture, to grasp. The first thing I want to talk about is a word that I understand Joyce Meyer had a tape series on this, uh, a, a CD series on, on, on this subject, and no one bought it. And then she changed the title and people bought it. But the original title was what I want to talk about, Humility. Now, I have a friend, and this friend, he says to me all the time, I'm nothing. And I have to tell you, I come from teachers like Kenneth Hagin, I'm the righteousness of God and Messiah Jesus. And so I, you know, I heard him say that, but I did, and I didn't say anything. That's his business, you know. But you know what? It's got to do with motivation. I hear many people say, I'm the righteousness of God, and that motivation isn't right. You know what I'm saying? And I hear people say, I'm nothing. I can tell you now, I can honestly say to you, I am nothing. I'm nothing. Without God, I wouldn't be seated here. Without God, I wouldn't even be alive right now. Without God, I wouldn't know where I'm going when I die. Without God, I wouldn't want to live. And I found this in Scripture. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he is deceiving himself. You recognize the only thing good in me and the only thing good in you is the Messiah. Galatians 2.20, maybe you can understand right now. I've been crucified with the Messiah. It's no longer I who live, but the Messiah who lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So anything good in me, it's the Messiah. I had the privilege of meeting Catherine Coleman. And Catherine Coleman 
would have all this wonderful worship, but you don't know, she had a motivation behind this wonderful worship. She would be backstage saying, Holy Spirit, if you don't show up, nothing is going to happen. She knew that she was nothing and God could use nothing and make something out of nothing. There's no room at all for arrogance. Now, one of the keys of walking in humility is walking in forgiveness. And I want to put the word instant forgiveness. Why? The longer you wait, the tougher it is. You have to instantly forgive. Mark 11, 25 and 26 says, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, that's pretty inclusive, you know, anything. What? Anything. Against who? Anyone. Now, here's where forgiveness gets tricky. It's very important to realize if you're waiting for a feeling, you may wait forever. It's a decision. I'm going to follow the Messiah. I don't care if it hurts. I don't care what happens. I don't care what I feel. I am a follower of the Messiah and I am going to instantly forgive. It's a decision and you can do the decision. You can't do the feeling, but you can do the decision. The feeling will come. The second thing is I used to think in a wrong, and this was wrong, that if someone did something bad to me, they had to ask for my forgiveness in order for me to forgive them. Untrue. I am commanded by God to forgive whether they ask me or not. And number three, you can forgive someone and truly forgive them, but they have to earn your trust. That doesn't mean you're stupid. You don't have to trust them, but you have to forgive them. Now, you know, when you understand this, it's easy to forgive. Someone said it this way. Unforgiveness is drinking the poison that you want the other person to drink. You know who you're hurting. You're just hurting yourself. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is something that not too many people talk about, and they better. This is the most important thing on the heart of God at this moment in history, and it's holiness, purity. Hebrews 12, 14 says, pursue holiness without which no one will see the Lord. By the way, this is my PS. No one will see the Lord in this life or when they leave. Anyone interested in seeing the Lord when they leave? Anyone interested in seeing the Lord in this life? Without holiness, you will not see the Lord. I mean, that kind of, I can rest the case on that. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards will inherit the kingdom of God. Biblical morality does not change with the times. God says, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you that think you can practice New age, homosexuality, uh, sex without marriage, living with a partner without being married, uh, 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 pornography, uh, everything listed in Deuteronomy 18 and see God, you are, as the scripture says, you are deceived. I'm telling you that holiness is possible, not in yourself, but it's called grace. It's not grace to sin. It's grace to have the power to overcome the sin. Let's get it straight. And when I come back, I'll go to the next point. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. 
Call now and get Sid Roth's The Healing Scripture Package, which includes his brand new The Healing Scriptures book and his interactive Healing Scriptures Soaking Audio CD, plus his anointed audio CD teaching on 10 keys to receiving miracles and healing. Get one for a donation of $25, offer number 1862, or get two for $45 and give one away, offer number 9319. Shipping and handling is included. Included is the Healing Scriptures book filled with the most powerful healing scriptures from the Bible that Sid has personally handpicked and personalized for you to pray over your life. Includes a question and answer section where Sid answers the most asked questions on the subject of healing and miracles. Plus, it includes healing testimonies submitted by real people to our ministry to encourage and uplift you. In addition, you receive the Healing Scriptures audio CD. Sid shares how to use this interactive CD in the introduction. Sid reads the personalized scriptures Scriptures right from the Healing Scriptures book for you to follow, accompanied by the anointed Israeli music of violinist LaDonna Taylor. Plus, you receive Sid Roth's anointed audio CD teaching, 10 Keys to Receiving Miracles and Healing, recorded live by Sid Roth as he coaches you on how to receive your own healing and how to minister healing to others. Don't miss out on getting Sid Roth's The Healing Scripture Package, which includes his brand new The Healing Scriptures book and his interactive Healing Scriptures Soaking Audio CD, plus his anointed audio CD teaching on 10 Keys to Receiving Miracles and Healing. Get one for a donation of $25 offer number 1862 or get two for $45 and give one away. Offer number 9319. Shipping and handling is included. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 1862 for one or offer number 9319 for two or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Here's another secret. It's so simple and yet so important. Remember the word instant I talked about in forgiveness? Here's another instant. Live in instant repentance. Do you know why? The devil is like a door-to-door -door salesman. What he does is he puts his foot in the door and then you can't close the door so that you don't want to even open the door. The minute that you have a thought that is not good and pure and holy and of good report, you know the source and close the door. Don't you let that devil get a foothold because he doesn't play fair. Some people say, well, once you repent, you never have to repent again. Well, this was written to believers. Let me read this to you. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Is that good? But if we don't confess our sins, he's faithful and righteous to not cleanse us of all unrighteousness. <laughs> Who wants to see God with that unrighteousness? Not me. <laughs> okay, I think I, I've made my point. And by the way, I have found the power of proclaiming God's word out loud. When I was a young believer, all of a sudden I had like a, a spirit. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I had like a spirit of lust. And I'm thinking, I'm a believer. I shouldn't have this. Where's this coming from? Oh, I know where it's coming from. Not from me. It's a demonic spirit. So I found a scripture about it. Blessed are the pure in heart. And I found that every time I had that spirit whisper a lie in my ears, I would say, blessed are the, out loud. Blessed are the pure in spirit. And you know what? What does it say in the Bible? Resist the devil and he will flee. And in the Greek, he will flee as in terror. It's sort of like taking the sword, the word of God. Say, here, take this devil. Take this devil. You got it? Okay. And that works for everything. You got to find a promise, learn it, and say it out loud. Now, and, and speaking of demons, did you know that not all sickness is sickness? A third of Jesus' ministry was casting demons out of people. 
Do you realize what our young people are exposing themselves today? We're going to have a great move of God's Spirit, and one of the major jobs of the church will be setting these young people free from the demonic, because of the doors that they've opened. Uh, so, so you have to recognize whether it, you're praying for a healing or you're praying for a deliverance. The third most important thing that I wrote down, I love this, it's practicing the presence of God. You see, there was a fellow by the name of uh, Brother Lawrence, and he wrote a book on this subject. And he was a lowly monk. You know what his job was? Washing dishes. But he was so happy. He wasn't on Grumble Street. He was so happy because he practiced the presence of God. The presence of God was in washing those dishes. I can do this. You can do this. Psalm 16:8 in the Amplified. I have set the Lord continually before me. No, it wasn't the Lord is continually before me. I have set the Lord. I am conscious that the Lord, I am aware that the Lord, I have willfully said, Lord, you are before me continually because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. And when you're in this presence of God, there is healing. Yes. Let me explain this to you. Isaiah 53, 5, in the Hebrew, it's, it, uh, I'm sorry, in the English, it's translated from the Hebrew in most Bibles, by his stripes we are healed. You've heard that? Another word for stripes, if you look this up in the Hebrew, it's by his fellowship. I am healed. You see how important the presence of God is? Now, the Holy Spirit and the spoken Word of God work together. Let me show you the first mention of that. It's found in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. That's a pretty good first mention. In the beginning was God. And then the second verse. And the Spirit of God hovered over the water. And then the third verse, God spoke. So where you miss it is you have to be in the Spirit before you speak the Word of God. You with me? Yes. This is such an important principle that you have to understand. I heard someone say this once. They said, if you just have the Word of God, you'll dry up. If you just have the Spirit of God, you'll blow up. But if you have the Word of God and the Spirit of God, you'll grow up. It's time to grow up! <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Reserve your place and get ready to experience Israel, the land of the supernatural with Sid and Joyce Roth. November 24th to December 3rd, 2015. It's the perfect temperature and the land is calling your name. Visit the Mount of Olives, the Garden of Gethsemane, Calvary, and take communion at the Garden Tomb. Visit the Upper Room, Qumran, the home of the Dead Sea Scrolls, and receive ministry as you travel across the Sea of Galilee. If you like, you can be baptized in the Jordan River, the Jewish way, the way Jesus was baptized, and so much more. The price for this 10-day adventure includes round-trip airfare from New York City, hotel, all taxes, all tips included. Don't miss out on going with Sid Roth on this Israel tour for this special low price. Please specify the Sid Roth Israel trip when you call or visit SidRoth.org forward slash Israel. We now return to It's Supernatural! Anyone here at home interested in being in the Spirit 24-7? Yes. I am. Yes. Well, let me show you something. First of all, most people don't know where the Spirit is. Uh, the Spirit is also, uh, you, could, uh, you could translate spirit or heart. When you hear, read about the heart, it's the Spirit. When you read about the Spirit, it's the heart. 
Okay, John 7, not in all cases, but in many cases. John 7.38 tells us where the spirit is located, where the heart is located. He that believeth on me, this is Yeshua speaking, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly, or out of his heart, shall flow rivers of living water. So where is the spirit of the heart? In your belly. And I interviewed a man that told me something that was revolutionary. He told me how I could be in the spirit 24-7. He said, Sid, I want you to imagine an old-fashioned well, you know, with the bucket and, and the rope, and you, and, and you let the rope down, you, you unwind the rope to the bottom of the bucket, and it gets the water, and then you roll it back up. Well, he said, don't roll it up. I want you to, just in your imagination, believe that you are going down like that bucket of, is going down to the water in the well slowly. So I, you didn't do this with me. So go right down to your spirit, which is where? In your belly. Do it right now. And then he said, the, tr the trick is if you can stay there all the time. And what I found is I've been doing this and I'm staying in the spirit and I have discernment now where I didn't have it before. Someone can talk and I can know it's in the spirit or not in the spirit, that it's truth or not truth. I can, I, I can operate out of the spirit. Now you're in the spirit even if you don't do this, don't, don't misunderstand me, but you're aware of being in the spirit 24-7 when you do that. The second way to be in the Spirit all the time, do you know, it's a simple way, and every believer can do it. Not every believer has the gift of tongues to publicly speak, or supernatural languages to publicly speak in a congregation, but Paul said, you all, he was Southern, y'all. <laughs> Paul, Paul said, you all can speak in tongues. And then he said, I speak in tongues more than any man. And the man that wrote that much of the New Testament, I want to do what he did. Yeah. And, and I, I have to tell you, when you speak in your supernatural language, you are instantly into the supernatural, whether you realize it or not. And the third, I already told you it, instant repentance. You, you don't let that devil put his foot in your door. No more. You got it? Okay. Anyone want a double portion of God's Spirit? Yes. All right, here's how to do it. It's um, 2 Kings 2, verse 9 and 10. Elijah was speaking to Elisha, and Elijah was about ready to be taken to heaven by the chariots of fire. And this is what Elijah said to Elisha. Ask what may I do for you before I am taken away from you. And Elisha said, please, let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So he said, you've asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if not, it shall not be so for you. See how important it is to always be conscious? I have set the Lord continually, that's what David said, right? Continually before me. You be aware that the Lord, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be aware that the Lord is continually before you? Same thing in the New Testament, Matthew 25, 8 and 9, the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish, and the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. This is just before the great Jewish wedding. You get it? Just, our lamps are going out. You can't afford to let your lamps go out. But the wise answered, no, lest there should not be enough oil for us and you. You go and you buy for yourselves. You can't buy someone else's time with God. You may want to give it to someone, but that you can't. Each one has to invest sowing into the kingdom of God. And if you haven't, 
Remember what I said? Instant repentance and start. That's the good news. Did you know it's God's will to heal you? There are three main ingredients needed. Faith, believing, and confessing God's promises contained in the Bible. Hundreds of thousands have already obtained a copy of Sid Roth's brand new The Healing Scriptures book. Now is your opportunity to get your copy and receive your healing. Call now and get Sid Roth's The Healing Scripture Package, which includes his brand new The Healing Scriptures book and his interactive Healing Scriptures Soaking Audio CD, plus his anointed audio CD teaching on 10 keys to receiving miracles and healing. Get one for a donation of $25, offer number 1862, or get two for $45 and give one away, offer number 9319. Shipping and handling is included. Sid Roth's The Healing Scripture Package includes The Healing Scriptures Book, filled with the most powerful healing scriptures from the Bible that Sid has personally handpicked and personalized for you to pray over your life. Includes a question and answer section where Sid answers the most asked questions on the subject of healing and miracles. Plus, it includes healing testimonies submitted by real people to our ministry to encourage and uplift you. In addition, you receive the Healing Scriptures audio CD. Sid shares how to use this interactive CD in the introduction. Sid reads the personalized scriptures right from the Healing Scriptures book for you to follow, accompanied by the anointed Israeli music of violinist LaDonna Taylor. Plus, you receive Sid Roth's anointed audio CD teaching, 10 Keys to Receiving Miracles and Healing, recorded live by Sid Roth as he coaches you on how to receive your own healing and how to minister healing to others. At the end of teaching, Sid Roth, Randy Clark, and Keith Ellis share words of knowledge and pray for you to receive your healing. My heart's desire is for you to walk in divine health 24-7. That's why I handpick my favorite healing scriptures from many translations of the Bible. Then I personalized them for you and made them available in my brand new healing scriptures package. Meditate, pray out loud these scriptures over your life daily and witness the supernatural healing power of God's kingdom. Get one for yourself. Give one away to someone you know that needs healing. It makes a terrific gift. Don't miss out on getting Sid Roth's The Healing Scripture Package, which includes his brand new The Healing Scriptures book and his interactive Healing Scriptures Soaking Audio CD, plus his anointed audio CD teaching on 10 keys to receiving miracles and healing. Get one for a donation of $25, offer number 1862, or get two for $45 and give one away, offer number 9319. Shipping and handling is included. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 3. 9222 Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 186241 or offer number 931942 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guests, John and Lisa Bevere, there is no way in the world their marriage should have survived. But what happened to them wasn't natural. What happened to them that gave them a marriage from heaven was supernatural. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide. 